what that's the same expression i had when one of my students said this to me from the second law of motion f equals ma so if f equals 0 means a is equal to 0 which means acceleration is equal to 0 but if a equals 0 then the body will continue its motion with the same velocity notice how i said velocity and not speed because velocity and force both are vectors you know what else is a vector this channel subscribe karo yaar share karo support karo so as i was saying if f equals 0 then a equals 0 which implies body will continue with same velocity or will remain at rest if it were at rest initially so what's the problem the problem is this is the first law of motion so we deduce the first law of motion from the second law which implies the first law of motion is not required and is thus useless <clears throat> well no here's why our argument is wrong You see, when we say that if f equals zero means a equals zero, we are basically implying that acceleration cannot be possible without a force. Who said that? Who said acceleration cannot be possible without a force? This very argument is why our theory of Newton's first law being completely useless is wrong, because the very notion that acceleration can only be caused by a force and nothing else is the basis of the whole newtonian physics and where is this notion prescribed you guessed it first law of motion let's head back to the first law of motion shall we it states that an object either remains at rest or continues to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by a force which basically means a body cannot have an acceleration unless there is a force it tells us what the body naturally wants to do If there is no force what does the body want to do just like a human who always tries to make life simple for himself even a body wants to keep life simple for itself if it is moving it wants to keep moving at the same velocity if it is at rest it wants to stay at rest this very tendency of the body is what we call inertia so does that mean a body can never have acceleration without force let's imagine you are driving a car and your friend is sitting on the passenger seat Suddenly your friend bangs her head on the dashboard out of nowhere. What happened? Either she is pissed at something or you just played a notorious prank by applying brakes suddenly. But wait, who pushed her forward? From your frame of reference, your friend just fell forward without any force while she was at rest before that. Thus acceleration without a force This is what Newton tackled by stating the first law of motion. He downright just did away all the reference frames where any acceleration is possible without a force by stating that only a force can change the state of motion and nothing else. So if you want to use the Newton's laws of motion, you need to be in a non-accelerating frame of reference. And we call this non-accelerating frame of reference as inertial frame of reference. So first law in a sense forms kind of a territory where the newton's laws of motion are applicable so newton basically said that if you want to use accelerating frames of reference stay out of my territory so to summarize first law of motion tells us that not only force is responsible for acceleration but it is the only thing that is responsible for acceleration here's a question for you all the newton's second law of motion states that rate of change of momentum is proportional to force what if i write it as force is proportional to rate of change of momentum let me know in the comments if they mean the same and can be used interchangeably and why also like the video comment your suggestions or queries and subscribe to this channel have a nice day all